turn down the fold into little pieces and put it here. Versus the Jordanian Shepherd. Uh, some will tell you those scrolls were not preserved properly in the sealed vessels in the mountains and probably the reason for that is because the archaeologists paid by the scroll. So what the Bedouins did, they, they themselves turned the scrolls into small pieces and sold them to the archaeologists these like ah. Which is very sad and very impolitically correct to say it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's oh, sad. That's why it took so many years to analyze it. Okay. They caused a huge damage to the scroll. The yeah. scrolls, most of them could have been found complete, unless the Bedouins will turn them into small pieces. Interesting. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, some places you have new signs, some places you have new signs. Okay. And they need to make a new movie as well. Oh. <laughs> We're not sure about John the Baptist being here as a yeah. member of yeah. the... You saw him in the movie? I did, yes. <laughs> but no, not necessarily. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> So you probably listen. Uh, it, it says over there that the, uh, the damage was caused by uh, uh, Roman soldiers that found those scrolls and tear them into small pieces out of frustration. Uh, but it's just uh, not true. Um, okay. You need to come one more time to Israel because what the Israeli government just did six months ago, and I didn't have a chance to do it with the group yet, we made a road. Uh, um, that you can actually go with the bus and you can see cave number one. Oh. And, and the bus goes like that and see it and everything. I just never did it uh, uh, by myself and I need to go and do it myself and then I can go and take you. So I told you, you must come back at least one more time. <laughs> but cave number one is almost one mile away on that direction uh, and you cannot see it from here. And all the caves, or most of them, uh, were made in the um, natural caves, in the cliffs over there. What you can see from here is cave number uh, six. That's actually right next to the waterfall they found it. And cave number four and cave number five. Okay, cave number four is the hole that you see over there. That's probably the second one. Uh -huh. See the hole there? Yep. The was from above. And cave number uh, four, there is also 4B just next to it, behind the corner, you cannot see it. And here, just in front of you, used to be cave number five, but it was destroyed by the Everland. Okay? It used to be cave number five. Uh, this is just uh, what you see here, this rock. You can see it's more bright color than the cliffs. It's actually sediments of the ancient Dead Sea that used to cover this area. Wow. Okay, so it's very, it's very soft. Uh, were found in this cave. Okay? Uh, we're talking about the scroll of Exodus in 250 BC and the scroll of Samuel and the scroll of Jeremiah from 200 BC. Exodus from 250 BC, Samuel and Jeremiah from 200 BC, and those are considered to be uh, uh, the most ancient biblical scrolls ever to be uh, found. So you have to hear, you have uh, everything was found except the scroll yeah, so of the S. Like uh, the the scroll of S. Sorry? Carbon. Carbon. Yes, because those are the most uh, uh, ancient uh, parchment paper. Okay, uh, they found more ancient scriptures, but this is. Uh, uh, the biblical scroll, that's the beginning of the monotheist uh, belief, that's why they're so, so important. And also before it there was no scrolls, we're just uh, writing on, uh, uh, on tablets. Uh,